While you weren't looking, I went back and made some changes to the model. The most notable one is that I used multi-cut to split this edge in here by the back of the nose. I did that because I felt like there was some stretching happening here, but it has resulted in me having a triangular face here, and also in me having a shape called a five-pointed star. Let's turn soft select off, three, four, five. So while technically all of these faces are in a good position, this is an area where sometimes you get some funny bending when you rig, so you always want to be on the lookout for these five-pointed star shapes. In fact, you'll see I have another one right over here, and that it leads into another one right over here. So if these are areas that I think are going to be doing a lot of bi-directional stretching, these are places where I'll want to take another look at the edge loops and see if there's a better way for me to break them up. In this case, it's going to be fine. And honestly, before I start rigging this, I will probably go through the process of running smooth and bisecting this, which will move all of those star shapes around a little bit. So I'm not too, too worried. I did a couple of things with the eyelids to see if I could get them into better shape. I tried thickening them. I tried repositioning the corner of the eye. Nothing really helped, so I gave up and I'm just going to hope that your eyelids come out better than mine, which they might because you guys are really good modelers. Trust yourselves here. So I promised you one last video and I think what I'm going to do is just come up and try to make this part of the head really quickly. You may remember from an earlier video, if I pull up Photoshop, that once you get over to the back of the head, you really want to start thinking about the neck and the throat. So I'm really just going to see if I can build some of this area up here in. And you'll note that even on this topology demonstration, there are a couple of five-pointed stars in the cheek. So it's not unusual, it's not bad, it's just something to be aware of. Okay, back over in Maya, I will select my box model and make it live again. Then I will select my head model, which I have saved lately. I'll go back into Quad Draw, and let's just turn the box model layer on so that I can see where it is. Sometimes that is helpful. And now I can kind of come on through and say I want to do this in as few faces as possible, so I'm going to make these all really big. They're not coming out right on the center line, so I'll go back and merge them later, but I can do like four or five faces. I'll just do the same number out here. Nice big faces, and now I can come through. That one was too big. And then I'll do the same thing over here. over here. This is a very forgiving area because you kind of assume that most characters will have hair or a hat or be covered in scales on the back of their little heads. So I'll go through, maybe I'll do one and perhaps even two more in this direction. And then I can start moving down the back. That looks like it should be around there. Sure, we'll put all these in just like this. Remember we're doing quad draw so we can always move things later on. But I just kind of want to move myself around so that I can meet up in the back. Oh, looks like I need one more set of edges. Okay. Do that one there. Do this one here. Maybe I'll put one there and one there. And I'm getting really close to the middle. So maybe I will just finish up 
There's one there. Maybe I don't even need that one and I can just do one there like that. Okay, beautiful. So that's the back of my head. Let's turn this to not be live again and turn off its layer. And now I'm going to go through in vertex mode. I will select two vertices at a time. And as always, if you are going to merge vertices, you want to be super careful. So I'll grab those and in shift right click, merge to center. Ooh, I might have to turn symmetry off for this. So let's try that. Good. I think I'll use one mode too so I can see where my vertices really are. There they are. There's my move tool so that I can prove that they are right in the middle. The G key will restart merge vertices to center. And I am practically all done with the back of the head. There are some really great tutorials out there that can walk you through the human ear. I think that this is probably going to be a good foundational tutorial for you, but that it probably won't give you all of the information that you need for things like the ear. So feel free to go out and do some independent research and get some good tutorials. There are also tons and tons of human head modeling tutorials out there. So if you find one that you think is really good, Go ahead and share it with the rest of the class. No one will object. Okay, that looks pretty good. I might go back and smooth a couple of these places. Remember, one of the tools in your arsenal is mesh tools, sculpting tools. You can use smooth or relax. I did a bit of relaxing down in the chin because I felt like the edge loops were too close together. But I can use smooth here and just kind of come in and, you know, massage a couple of things here and there. In general though, I think that this model is looking pretty good. So I'm going to take it and delete its history. And I'm going to call this ready to rig or animate or do anything I want with. You may feel that you need to keep going. This probably wasn't enough information for you to nail the human head on your first try, but I hope you did pretty well with it. And I hope that you found it at least an interesting, if not enjoyable, experience. It's really different from any model that you've made before, and they're really hard, and don't worry if your first head comes out looking blobby and not humanoid. You'll note that mine doesn't look exactly like her either. That's okay. She's never gonna know. No one's ever gonna know. Just don't tell people. It's fine. So enjoy this, and I hope that you are able to model a human head successfully with the information that I've given you. Good luck. Talk to you soon.